My name is Mayang Chang. Good evening, everybody. It is my pleasure to invite you on behalf of Audi India to this wonderful experience to all of you, our special guests, our friends, to the second episode of the Visionarium 2020. A lot happened yesterday. A lot is going to happen today. But yes, something that I'm not going to stop you from doing is uh, taking screenshots, taking pictures, whatever you want to do, post about it on your social media. And don't forget to tag Audi India as well as use the hashtag Audi Visionarium. Tell us what you think of this session. Now that we're all set, shall we begin? So yesterday, we had the captain of the Indian cricket team, Virat Kohli, as our guest. It was a great conversation. He spoke about the importance of fitness in his life and how it helped him become a better cricketer and a better leader. And how you and I can imbibe that philosophy, not just for our profession, but in general for a better life and a brighter future. That conversation also made me realize how even small changes can make a huge difference. The way we present ourselves to others, our ideas about our own future, all of it can be shaped by changing just a few aspects of our lives. The simplest example, regular exercise, thodasa, half an hour every single day, that can change so much your outlook towards your life and your personality as well. And that is what Audi India's Visionarium 2020 intends to achieve, to open up your minds to the endless possibilities. At the end of these conversations, we hope to plant the seed of an idea in your head to help you have a clearer vision of the future, not just yours, but also of the entire world. So with the best of intentions, let's get cracking. I would like to invite Mr. Balbir Singh Dhinon, the head of Audi India, to join us and introduce today's topic. Mr. Balbir, sir, please unmute your mic and uh, I would like to see your face, your lovely, lovely face. How are we doing today, sir? Um, thank you very much, Cheng and dear friends. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all to Visionarium and a warm welcome from my side to Chef Kapoor as well. Uh, we are excited to have him today's, uh, session, on today's session uh, after a great start by Virat yesterday. Uh, it's wonderful to see Audi family members join us today in great numbers and we hope everybody will enjoy this session and I wish everybody the best of health and happiness. Thank you so much for joining us once again and over to you, Cheng. Thank you so much, Mr. Dino. And uh, well, let's see. Yesterday, we spoke about fitness with Virat. Today, we'll talk about food. That essential part of our lives. Food, that most important part of our lives. You know, not just about consuming it, but how we eat it, who we eat it with. All of it is part of what we are and who we are. Part of our daily lives, our culture, our festivals. I mean, what is Diwali without Mithai? What is Eid without Biryani? What is Christmas without cake? What would we do without food? Beyond culture, food is also a catalyst for change. For example, yesterday Virat was telling us about having turned vegetarian and how it really helped him in his profession, in his general life. And we also know that in the last couple of years, many more food trends have uh, come into vogue. For example, veganism. Like all other aspects of our society, the food we put on our plates is also evolving. And who better to talk about it than our guest today, who has a wealth of experience, who's witnessed this evolution firsthand. He's been an integral part of it. India's original master chef, who's been the face of good food in India for decades, spreading the joy of cooking with that trademark smile of his and the importance of enjoying every meal. It's my pleasure to welcome chef, entrepreneur, restaurateur, Sanjeev Kapoor. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mayank. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, what a generous uh, introduction. And uh, very happy and excited uh, to be part of Visionarium 2020. Yes, indeed. Uh, food is uh, an important part. And uh, uh, what, is, uh, what is good is that uh, more and more people have sta started to understand it, started to take mm -hmm. it uh, more seriously, uh, should I say. And uh, that's a good sign. And uh, I, I cannot uh, be more that uh, I'm in this field. Uh, there are many problems uh, that were there in the last uh, few months of uh, pandemic. Uh, mm -hmm. 
but I can tell you that uh, food is one area that we immersed uh, more and more and more. And uh, uh, I can only thank God that uh, I, I don't even know when I decided to be part of this industry, when I started uh, to be part of uh, being a chef. Uh, but whatever happened, happened for good. It absolutely did because you have so many... Like when uh, you were saying that you're not really sure, you may not remember when when you started off but let me tell you that i have been watching you on television since i was a child my mother and my grandmother would always have your shows uh playing in the background and uh, i would get very fascinated i would keep wondering when mom would cook something like that uh unfortunately I, i'm a boarder i have been in a boarding school for most of my life so aapne jo bahut sare behtareen recipes bataye many of them i didn't get to try but i do know that i do know this face the first uh past chef on television your cooking now and you've gone through so many evolutions after that you started with uh, giving recipes on television you wrote books about it you've opened your restaurants you have multiple awards so it is a long career and you have obviously seen a lot of changes that have happened in the last many decades what are those uh, what are some of your favorite major changes in these decades Sure. Uh, fantastic uh, question, Mayang. Uh, first of all, uh, you, you said that uh, you have seen me bachpan se dekha. So I must uh, share with you this uh, incident. Uh, this was, uh, I was judging uh, MasterChef and uh, there's this uh, lady who's okay. uh, probably at least 20 years older uh, uh, than my age. And she comes and uh, says, uh, Sir, I'm aapko bachpan se dekh rahi and I'm thinking, <laughs> ye <kahan> se? So, but <laughs> so every time somebody says that, I, I, uh, I, I'm reminded of uh, that. Ki, kitne logo ne mujhe se dekha hai, jo mujhe bhi kaafi, uh, no, but uh, I, I get you, you are much, much uh, younger than uh, No, uh, and but the chef, I have... bhi lagta hai ki... ऐसा uh, भी लगता है कि मैं बचपन से बड़ा हो गया, लेकिन आप बिल्कुल अभी भी same लगते हैं. So that is uh, the biggest compliment that I can give. You are still that happy man. <laughs> अपना बनाया हुआ नहीं खाता शायद इसलिए जब हम कहते हैं कि बहुत सारे चेंजेस होते हैं काफी सारी चीजों में चेंजेस होते हैं फूड के अंदर भी ग्लोबली Uh, changes and uh, some uh, for good, uh, some not so uh, good. And uh, uh, if if uh, we were to break it down into a few different things, so let let's look at what impacts most uh, people is probably taste and health. Those are the two uh, two things uh, which most people are concerned about. Uh, so, मतलब और India के अंदर तो थोड़ा ज़्यादा ही होता है taste के ऊपर we get so emotional about uh, taste. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we we want to eat uh, tasty things, but हम बातें health की दादा करते हैं. So I always say this: uh, India is a country uh, where we uh, talk salads, eat samosa. बातें salad की करेंगे, खाने खाने में समोसे खाएंगे. That's who we are. So uh, and that has actually uh, stayed there most. Uh, uh, if we would look at uh, the lowest common denominator, if I were to draw uh, all across uh, India. Uh, we have stayed true to that. It has not. Uh, it has not uh, changed. And uska mein uh, change ka mein batata hoon ki jis din ye QSRs jaise McDonalds ho gaya na, jab wo salad bowl bechna shuru ho jayenge na, tab iska matlab hai India mein log ab healthy khana khana shuru kar diya hai. So that, that's that's how uh, it is. But uh, I would say if we were to look at taste, uh, we we haven't uh, uh, changed our taste much while we think that we have hame aisa lagta hai ki humne taste bahut change kiya but taste of india especially uh, it has stayed true to uh, primary taste khatta meetha tikha namkeen which is taste of chaat right. jaise chaat jo hai usme khatti chutney bhi chahiye tikhi bhi chahiye meethi nahi hogi to maza nahi aayega right so that is something Indeed. that we have stayed uh, true to that but form jo hai form we want newness in forms we want uh, something that uh, we can share we can 
create conversations around uh, we can uh, we can talk more about so you would see that uh, we would have uh, uh, something uh, like masala noodles usme jeera bhi hai usme dhaniya bhi hai usme haldi bhi hai so the masala packet usme aata hai na uske andar sare ye taste hote hain but form is changed mm-hmm. form is of noodles aloo tikki hai burger ke sath mein hai pizza hai us pe tandoori chicken tikka hai so our taste has uh, remained uh, same forms we have adopted new forms so even if we want let's say south asian uh, asian food hame thai food acha lagta hai but we don't like uh, taste of uh, fish sauce so we want it uh, thai paste we want uh, but uh, we want vegetarian we want we don't want the fish sauce Correct. or the uh, prawn uh, dried prawns in that so we, we that's uh, we don't hum log taste ko itna jaldi badalte nahi which is which is a good thing because hamara jo primary taste hai what we have been brought up with uh, is is very Indeed. strong that that's fantastic so it's a good sign coming to do you think health. it is uh, sorry carry yeah. on please no no go on uh when you were talking about all these things ki we have uh, stayed consistent with our taste and also the kind of even when there are different forms of food we stay uh very loyal to our tastes uh even when the one major change that happened let's say i don't know maybe uh, 15 to 20 years ago when we had more than what we were just getting on the street in our homes we started getting indianized versions of global food uh when you talk about pizzas and burgers and even when you said noodles so i remember all of this uh came into the fore and uh there came then a time when everybody started getting a little more expert they said ki fine we beyond this flavor as well we will try to attempt experiment with the authentic flavors as flavors as well which is where a lot of uh, global food has come in through the restaurants aaj ke zamane mein every and any world cuisine is available in india uh, there are with the pandemic now there have been so many people who have actually made pretty much anything that you could have imagined at home indian and otherwise uh what uh, what what does this mean for us as food lovers oh uh, definitely change has been there so i was uh, coming uh, to that so i would say in last 2 to 3 years there 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 has been a seismic uh, shift in our acceptability and i think that's the younger generation uh, bringing that to fore and uh, there are more options more offerings and uh, uh, what has started to happen earlier uh, meal times or meal options at home were for a family now like mobile phones each person has their own meal so each person has their yeah. own mobile each person has their own meal and because of that uh, there, there is a lot more experimentation that is happening so at home grandmom can have her tori and moong ki dal and uh, roti whereas uh, uh, her uh, Uh, children can can have little bit more experimentation with indianness form could be uh, form could be foreign and uh, indian uh, taste whereas then her grandchildren can experiment more and this all is happening in one house in one meal uh, during one uh, meal so that is a change that hap- that has happened in recent past uh, the other good change that has uh, happened uh, is uh, where uh, Uh, we are seeing lot more conversations around health mm-hmm. healthier food uh, awareness about that consumption may be low consumption may be low uh, but more conversations are happening more informed choices are being made now that when we uh, when we see more conversations around uh, something conversations uh, uh, lead to consumption so so we will see consumption becoming higher and now more and more influencers so let, let's say you had uh, uh, you had virat kohli speaking yesterday right uh, it yep. is such a big influencer uh, even on food when he speaks he speaks from the uh, heart he speak, uh, speaks about uh, being a vegan and everything from the heart and he influences uh, so many minds and uh, that's that's a good thing and if you see even these uh, all the influencers that we have whether they are from films uh, whether they are from sports they are all such fit people and uh, they 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 influence and that's a very very good uh, sign and that's a great shift and uh, the younger generation is following goodness more than what 
मोर देन एवर आई वुड से सो पीपल से पहले ऐसे होता था कि अरे आजकल के जो बच्चे हैं ना वो तो ऐसे ही हैं कोई वैल्यू सिस्टम नहीं है कुछ नहीं है I think that has changed, and I would say that the younger generation is more responsible. They they uh, they they have better values than our generation. I, I think that that's what I'm seeing, and it's it's consistent. It's not just uh, I'm talking about my uh, children, and I, I see this uh, with most people. They are more responsible. Uh, they 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 are uh, with everything. Uh, their value system is much better. Whether it's doing better uh, for the world, uh, doing better. for earth better uh, for the whole universe uh, the responsibility they understand uh, uh, they understand sustainability they understand uh, how to preserve our uh, planet uh, the, the kind of uh, communication they have the kind of conversation they have they are very responsible and that's a very good sign that's actually a very good sign it's also so heartening to hear you say that kyunki the next time my mom is going to say that is generation ke bacche this is what i'm going to say this <laughs> Vani has come from Sanjeev Kapoor. आपको ये मानना पड़ेगा. You have been watching him since since I was a child. So this is सत्य वचन बिल्कुल. Oh wow! But uh, when when we talk about uh, the youth actually taking over and uh, they are so much more aware, they are trying to influence the elders as well. The elders were like, yeah, we've also eaten all of this. We followed these practices nothing has happened to us but uh, the young are trying to change that uh, the, the the mindset out there and uh, in a way they are setting some trends as well so are you a follower of trends because you're a trend setter yourself but do you believe in trends in general see nat- naturally uh, if if there is uh, something so what is a trend trend is a change and change is good thing if you mm-hmm. have to be relevant in your life change is uh, something that you have to adopt and uh, that that's uh, whether you can cause that change if you cause that change you become leader and you become a trend mm-hmm. setter and leaders are known to uh, set trends that that's how uh, and they then they get their own uh, followers uh, but uh, to Correct. change i i think uh, uh, it it's a uh, Uh, primary and a paramount need of humans without that it will lead to extinction and that we, we don't want to become extinct as yet right we want to stay relevant as yeah. long as possible and uh, it, the, the only way to stay relevant is uh, uh, be, be uh, uh, either uh, if if possible uh, be a trend uh, setter uh, like in food i, I always uh, uh, say and think that uh, so we were filming uh, today uh, and uh, we uh, th- there was something i, I stopped uh, the shoot uh, for uh, some time and i sensitized the whole team and uh, these are camera mm-hmm. people these are light men these are uh, all shooting crew not 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 all uh, uh, very informed about what is happening and uh, i was telling them importance of uh, water how scarcity of water how uh, futures uh, in uh, you, you had the transactions uh, Uh, on uh, trade transactions on uh, let's say metals on currencies uh, uh, but uh, now in california water is being transacted right so how important it is because it's wow. it's precious why does anything become precious because there is limited supply and uh, the prediction is that by 2025 uh, it it uh, 70% of the population on the earth there would be scarcity of water that's not just 5 years from now that is actually 4 years it's it's uh, it's scary very very close same is the case with availability of food if we uh, look at the foa data the uh, amount of food that we are producing at the rate that we are growing the population is growing we would not have enough food on this earth so i was sensitizing the whole team and i could say uh, i could see that uh, There, there was hushed silence and everything. Uh, otherwise, when you are not uh, shooting, there is so much of chaos and everything. But there was uh, hushed silence, and uh, at lunch time also, they were discussing this. And it's it's so heartening uh, to see. Uh, and uh, I am a firm believer that we need to change, we need to influence, we need to uh, set trend. It's it's not only fashion; it's a responsibility also uh, in setting trends in responsibility. Uh, especially to, uh, when it comes to food uh, it's my responsibility i would say 
No, absolutely. Because uh, uh, what you're mentioning right now, it's uh, in. We used to watch it in movies in post-apocalyptic futures, but that future is right here. If there is a scarcity of water, there will be scarcity of food, and there will be a lot of problems. And as you also said, like uh, on one hand, we have uh, already the possibility of a food scarcity looming on us. At the same time, on the other hand, we have so much wastage. Um, you spoke to your crew. You sensitized them about it. But on a more national, global level, how do we ensure that all the food that is there, we've been taught ki waste not, want not, and want not, waste not, right? Sorry, that's uh, the other way around. But uh, if uh, we've been taught that, why do we still waste so much? And how can we minimize that waste? Yeah, so waste is at a few levels. So let's talk of uh, India. 40% uh, of whatever uh, produce that we grow, uh, is wasted. We are not able to consume. And that uh, wastage is due to uh, many reasons. We are not able uh, to store it well. We are not able uh, uh, to uh, keep it in transportation. It gets out. 40% is the uh, wastage uh, right. that, that's there. And uh, in uh, developed world, there's a lot of wastage that happens on plate. Uh, and there, there's a mismatch. There are hungry people and there is wastage that is happening. So we need to connect uh, the dot. And that, that's exactly, uh, so I work uh, very you know, closely with uh, Akshay Patra and uh, uh, we now feed about uh, 1.8 million kids every uh, day for midday meal program. Wow. And that's what uh, we try and uh, do and uh, connect all the uh, dots on uh, food. I think uh, what, is, uh, what is required is more conversations. Uh, we, we, when we meet uh, people, uh, it, it's it's not not about uh, only uh, the gossip uh, that that's there. Uh, I think uh, we can get a lot more joy in responsible conversations, even with friends, family. I think uh, we we need to segregate in our mind that even in free time, we have to. Uh, have conversations which are responsible it, it's not only when we are asked to speak in a responsible way we will i, I think it, it's something which we have to it it's like if we have to exercise it's not that you have to go to the gym you you can build in your right. steps you can walk up the stairs you can you, you without going to the gym gym you can be really fit but you have to make it part of uh, your daily life same way conversations around this would help and for this younger India, younger population of India or the globe, they have to become ambassadors for it. And they have to keep on talking. You are in a pub, you are drinking, have this conversation, have fun. This, yeah. this is, uh, and uh, I can tell you, we, we just have to nudge them, but they, they will do the job in a much uh, better way than what we can do. It seems to be that way because uh, a lot of people, especially in the pandemic, during the pandemic, they have, uh, well, you already spoke about this, that people are experimenting a lot. They are doing so much more. But at the same time, they're also talking about local produce. They're talking about how we should be supporting our own agrarian culture. And uh, that is a very, very nice thing to happen because uh, that, it's so often that we're just looking outwards, but not inwards, isn't it so? Yes, absolutely. I, I think uh, uh, this pandemic has uh, taught uh, people a lot, uh, importance of many things. And when it uh, comes to cooking, uh, I've always uh, maintained people talk about uh, junk food and things like that. And I said, see, it's a need that people uh, will have. Uh, so you cannot run away from it, but uh, start cooking mm -hmm. junk food at home. When I say junk food, the dishes which are called junk, when you cook it at home, it will be healthier than what uh, it normally would be. And that's exactly what has happened. People have started to cook at home more, which means healthier food. And this is not just India. This is a global phenomenon. And uh, uh, th th there was a uh, data that, that was there that by 2030 in America, th this was uh, uh, something, uh, uh, there was a report about two years ago, by 2030, uh, majority of the homes in the United States of America would not be cooking at home. That has changed. Mm -hmm. This pandemic has uh, changed that. People have started to cook at home. Even in India, we were running that risk. Pandemic has changed that. And that's a very good sign that uh, people have got back into the kitchen. People have never cooked or cooking uh, at home. 
and that that's a you know, great sign and when yeah look what happens <laughs> is when you start to cook you start to look at everything uh, the kind of pots and pans that you're using uh, the kind of ingredients that you're using otherwise when somebody else is uh, cooking it's it's second hand involvement it's it's not something uh, uh, it's it's like uh, giving uh, away your love to somebody and say okay that's my love keep it for some time no but you have to uh, have to have one to one interaction so with food also when you start to cook that's one to one interaction that's happening and that's a deeper interaction True. so within uh, you start to understand ingredients also you say where is it coming from is it organic how far it has traveled how fresh is it is True. it does it smell good does it taste good and everything and that that's uh, fantastic so I, i would say that uh, people just don't forget it uh, and it stays like this there are many things about pandemic we want to forget but this part let's keep with us i think it's a great thing that has happened because uh, uh chef you know you and i know that so many people have also started home kitchens it's not just shaukia nahi hai it's not just for the family it's also for everybody else out there who would love to eat it uh, in my very society there is a friend's mother who's uh, this i who has started a kitchen and uh, the great part of it is that uh, we all got introduced to a cuisine that was probably limited to just their house which is uh, they come from a place i forgot the name of the town but it's on the border of maharashtra and karnataka so it's a very oh, different Bega. yet familiar cuisine uh perhaps i am um, i'm not getting that yeah. but uh, the good thing is that that starts a conversation out there it opens up your palate to a new experience and we are seeing that uh, all these home chefs not only are they becoming entrepreneurs in their own way they are also presenting the food really well and uh, to such people who are maybe making it as a hobby or they want to make a career out of it maybe it's just a temporary thing uh, what would your advice to them be I, I think uh, you know, there are people uh, who are uh, putting their best uh, foot uh, forward. Uh, I, I would say that uh, uh, play on your strengths. Uh, one, uh, if you want to uh, create a business uh, around it, play on your strength. Uh, uh, sell something uh, that you do best. Uh, that that's mm -hmm. uh, one thing that I've uh, learned. That uh, uh, it's uh, especially when uh, in business. Uh, you have to do your best and you have to present your best otherwise uh, if you think uh, it's just okay uh, don't offer it to people wait till you get uh, uh, perfect with it uh, so uh, so one is uh, that and uh, put your heart uh, put your heart into it uh, and uh, of course a uh, little bit of uh, marketing also helps it does not mean that uh, Uh, like exercising does not mean uh, going to the gym it does not mean that you need to advertise mm -hmm. in newspaper or the tell you know no, nothing like that you can create your own small whatsapp uh, groups uh, you can create your own area of influence through your family and uh, friends because it's a local area marketing that uh, you you have to uh, do and uh, start understanding money value yourself value the effort that you put in translate that into money because i've seen many people they uh, say okay this is what i bought all these ingredients for uh, this was 100 rupees now i'm selling it for 150 rupees so i'm making 50 rupees no no there's fuel that is going there's time that is going there's packaging that is going yes. there's so much that is going so it should not be that while you thought you were doing business but uh, you were losing money so uh, make sure that you convert everything into money market it well and uh, do uh, produce something with all your love all your heart uh, and uh, play on your strength and uh, my best wishes uh, are there uh, for all such people <laughs> that's some very very sound advice chef uh, but on the flip side of this now that so many people are cooking at home and it's going out there in the world what happens to the restaurants because uh pehle it was delivery of food at home initially you could call up the restaurants now you have food aggregator and delivery apps now you also have people cooking and sending it across and in such a scenario where fine dining has changed where people are also a little uh, hesitant right now at least to go to a restaurant and eat food what do the restaurants have to do how do they pull up the socks in sure apart from just the safety precautions how do they get back on their feet because the hospitality industry has taken a hit during this time 
so so true uh, it's it's actually in india it's pretty uh, pretty serious uh, i'm part of hospitality industry as well we have restaurants so i, I know uh, how tough mm-hmm. uh, it is on uh, people uh, and uh, it's it's uh, something which uh, uh, some countries uh, uh, across the world uh, they have supported uh, uh, they have been supported uh, by paying uh, some money and all but here uh, uh, this industry has been left to fend uh, itself mm-hmm. uh, uh, so i i would uh, say that uh, uh, we may be at the end of uh, uh, the pandemic uh, when it comes to business uh, but uh, still there may be some time so there is uh, there is hope and uh, what people uh, need to do is uh, be prudent and that prudence is not only in safety that prudence is in everything and uh, that uh, prudence uh, will come in in cost efficiency so i would say that uh, uh, any any efficiency that was not uh, there earlier bring that in now not tomorrow now and uh, that efficiency is uh, something uh, uh, which will uh, help you and uh, any cost uh, that uh, you are okay with question it any cost uh, which is mm-hmm. fixed make it variable link it to the sale uh, so uh, my advice to all uh, restaurant owners uh, people who are this in, in this industry link all your costs to make them variable cost even uh, if you can uh, so rental cost variable do you want to uh, make uh, uh, your uh, man park cost make it variable food cost in any case is uh, variable and uh, try and uh, bring in efficiency through better uh, efficient lighting uh, air conditioning and all of uh, that and that's the only way uh, to survive otherwise uh, it may be tough uh, and also use uh, uh, social media in a smart way uh, the, without uh, uh, just uh, spending may not uh, help you you have to come with, come up with innovative reminders uh, restaurant biz- business uh, is a business of reminder it's knocking on the door and uh, so th- there's a friend of mine uh, who's uh, in this uh, business and he had to close down his restaurant the, he and his uh, wife started uh, uh, cooking from home and uh, they were doing i, I said uh, you know what uh, uh, i was actually talking to him yesterday i said uh, every month do something uh, special he says every month uh, i said yeah like you he, he did something uh, about sadhya kerala uh, food i said no every month there would be something create uh, an offering and he says but that's not our forte how would i do it i said no no start doing it uh, and now he's doing uh, every month uh, uh, a three four day uh, promotion and what it uh, what it has done for him is it gives him an opportunity to reach out to people with a new offering and he says wow this has helped me so much my business has grown and he says oh now i don't worry even if wow. i don't have to open the restaurant i'm uh, happy i'm doing as much as uh, from home at much lower cost so it, it's it's about how you do uh, smart uh, thinking and the restaurant is a business of uh, uh, constant reminders so create uh, opportunities yes. to knock well there is the silver lining out there and as always i mean i know chef that you believe a lot in simplicity and simple solutions and uh, this has been your uh, very very simple answer uh, you have also maintained in the past that it's not really important that uh, i mean of course there has to be this presentation there has to be that entire experience nothing can replace that going to a restaurant and having a great meal uh, but you also believe that the magic lies in simplicity what are your favorite simple recipes that you would always stand by no matter where you were in the world <laughs> no so when i when i talk about uh, simplicity now pe- people think that simplicity is uh, so when i uh, talk about simplicity it's it's in everything it's in uh, uh, it's in your uh, thought there's no confusion uh, so in food also simplicity does not uh, mean that uh, uh, it, it, it's a basic thing. It, it may be an mm. expert uh, uh, or a very professional thing, but to uh, do that, so it, it's. Uh, I'll, I'll give you an example. To cook something, uh, if you were to stew uh, just uh, carrots, 
to bring out the sweetness uh, in it. Uh, uh, and if you have to do it in a sous vide simple way, which is under uh, vacuum at a low temperature, the sweetness uh, will increase. And it, it sounds very simple, but uh, the perfection in it is uh, important. So uh, many people think that uh, simplicity means basic. Simplicity means mm -hmm. getting it uh, right. That, that's what, and it does not mean uh, that adding too many things in one thing, making it complex. Uh, it's, it's like, uh, uh, I give this example, uh, if in a dish you were to add 10, 20, 50, 150 different spices, would it uh, be good? Or you add one spice uh, which just stands out and shines, it's simple, but maybe very good. It's, it's uh, like uh, you go to a doctor with a simple cold, if that doctor exactly uh, diagnoses uh, your problem properly, probably give you one pill which will hit bullseye. Otherwise, you'll land mm -hmm. up uh, getting uh, four, five, six, seven, eight different colored pill in a hope that one will work. That That's not the way to do it. So simplicity <laughs> to me is uh, uh, getting it uh, right the very first time. Uh, for me, home style food because there is emotion involved uh, in that. Uh, yes. Restaurant food, I Absolutely. always uh, believe is uh, is like a blind date. Whereas home uh, <laughs> cooking is, there's, there's, yeah, it is. But you don't know who you're cooking for. There's a kitchen and there's a guest. Uh, there's a paper that travels from a restaurant to the kitchen and that's read out. Okay, this, and you don't know who it is for, right? It, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's blind cooking, uh, but at home, you exactly know who you are cooking for. So there's a lot of emotion that can uh, go in. And uh, so in, in uh, pandemic, uh, one of the simple things uh, that I've fallen in love and I cook uh, a lot, especially on uh, Tuesdays, so it's become uh, our favorite thing to have. Uh, is a simple uh, khichdi, palak ki khichdi, made mm -hmm. in a clay pot. Matke ke andar manate hai usko. Oh, nice. It is, it keeps so warm, it keeps so hot. It's piping hot because of that uh, matka, the, the shape of it and uh, the, the material, it keeps it so hot, bubbling hot. And uh, with the nice homemade uh, dahi, it, it's divine. Hi, 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 hi. Wow. Divinity. <laughs> man and, and chef my mind has totally gone blank because i was like i do have some more questions to ask the chef but right now i can only imagine that clay pot and that dish out there uh, i know that dinner is still probably about an hour and an hour and a half away but my mouth is watering just by your description of it and it's not just uh, there's so much love in the way you describe it that's the only way. That's that's the only way, and it's not just uh, uh, food. Any any conversation, any dialogue, no matter who is it uh, with, right? Unless you are fully immersed into it. So food. If you look at uh, food, people don't realize uh, it's uh, one of the very few things. Uh, I, I know that uh, in the lineup for Visionarium 2020, uh, you have a few of my mm -hmm. friends. Uh, actually, all of them are uh, my good friends. So you have Shankar Mahadevan, uh, you have uh, Vaman uh, Irani, you have uh, Manish uh, yeah. uh, Paul, and all of them uh, love uh, food. And I often say this: uh, if uh, Shankar was uh, uh, not a singer, he would be a chef. He, loves to cook so much. Uh, Baman oh, uh, used okay. to actually cook, he used to fry uh, wafers and uh, Manish, I recently taught uh, to make uh, halwa uh, uh, through through uh, okay. a video call. Uh, but in okay. food, uh, people don't realize all five senses are at play. So if you, if you think of it, uh, painting is, uh, it's, uh, you can appreciate by seeing it. Singing, you can appreciate by hearing it, right? But food is where all five senses, you smell the food, you taste the food, you see mm -hmm. the food, all three uh, senses, uh, you touch the food and you hear the food also. There's enough data, people who cannot hear, do not enjoy crunchy things. 
So there was a study that was uh, done uh, with uh, people who could not hear and they do not uh, enjoy uh, things like uh, uh, wafers and all with, which have that uh, crunch. So all five senses okay. are at uh, play and that, that's, the, that's the magic uh, of food. There are not many disciplines. So it's, it's, not, it, it's not just uh, about uh, art of cooking. There is a lot of science uh, that's involved uh, with cooking. And uh, if you get this art and science, uh, that's why people say, uh, oh, there are people who talk about cooking and uh, with so much passion. And they say, uh, it unwinds me, it relaxes me. Mm -hmm. uh, and it happens because uh, your all senses are at uh, play. That, that's, that's why you get immersed into it. I didn't realize that uh, a lot of my friends used to say that, but I could never understand it until I started cooking myself. Uh, chef, looking at the future, which is uh, what we are doing here at the Visionarium, uh, we know that uh, not just India, everywhere else because of the current lifestyles or let's say 2019 ka lifestyle, agar le le, uh, there were a lot of stress related illnesses, there were a lot of uh, diet related illnesses and it's all interconnected. There's obesity, there is binging, there's gluttony, uh, which did change to a certain extent during the pandemic because suddenly everybody was like, no, steam, lete ro, achha khate ro, immunity badegi. And it was completely because of the situation that was at hand. Do you think in the future when the pandemic, God willing, it goes off uh, away really quickly, the vaccine comes in, do you believe that once that happens, will we become complacent once again or as you said with all the good conversations that we've been having uh, especially with the influencers and uh, within families with the youngsters do you think there will be again another seismic shift in perception i i uh, i hope that uh, we keep to our senses uh, and we become uh, uh, responsible and we stay with it uh, uh, because uh, the the way uh, what we have seen in last uh, few months uh, is real. It, it's it's not a joke. It's not uh, uh, it's not uh, a film. It we are living it, and uh, more uh, responsible that we are, better uh, it would be for us. And uh, I, I say it every day, and I'll say it today also. Just uh, say rail mein likha rata hai ki sawari apne saman ki khud jimmawar hai. Aap apne sharir ki jimmawar hai. Take care of it. Apni sehat ka khud khayal rakhe. And all of us <laughs> bilkul, know what is good for us. Uske liye na Mayan ki zarurat hai, na Sanjeev Kapoor ki zarurat hai, na Virat Kohli ki zarurat hai. Ki batane ke liye kya hamali acha hai, kya nahi acha hai. I think we have to listen to our bodies. And uh, there is uh, so much of goodness that he has been there uh, with us. Especially uh, we've been lucky that we are born uh, in this uh, country. Over uh, a period of time, we have done a lot of things. Today, the fashion has come. There are a lot of things. Millets, local millets. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. That's uh, so good to. But now, people say it in English. They say it in English. Then we go to Google and they say that we have seen it. Oh, we have seen it. We have seen it. We have seen it. We have seen it in Hindi. Chara. Chara is eating the animals. Correct. So th this is also a real thing. So we, we have to change that. We have to uh, again uh, get more involved uh, with the goodness that is around us and shape our future with the past that uh, we have been bestowed with. Make it relevant. So, abhi baat sari cheez hai. Logon ne bolna shuru kar diya. Aur ye mat khao, ghee mat khao. Isse ye ho jaye. Ab puri dunya jo hai ghee ka rahe. Fir logon ko samajh aaye. Agar haldi jo hai, hamari bolis hai. Abhi logon ko na jitne bolne unko chawan prash bhi achhe se bolna aaja. Right? So there is so much that uh, we have that uh, we can uh, we can uh, look into our past and uh, we, we can shape our uh, future because it's not that we have a lot of new things that have never been done. Everything that is good is that we can get out of new things from it. Right? So uh, if, if I were to uh, look at uh, the Visionary 2020, so look at that uh, before we have some transportation ki, uh, baat, uh, kare, to bail gaadi pe bhi baith ke jate the non polluting vehicle thi ek tarah se right par fir wapas usi pe aate hain ab kehte hain ki acha acha ab hum uh, let's let's look at uh, cleaner energy let's look at all of this so there, there is so much of learning that is there within us that's there uh, in our culture our tradition where we live and it's not just for us to consume we can influence the world with us. And that's that's what the power of food that we have. There are many things that we have to learn from the world. 
there are many technologies we will uh, take from the world but uh, when it comes to food and goodness of it we can teach the world well that's a very hopeful picture that have be, has been painted chef and uh, i am very very in fact actually i'm getting distracted by uh, a lot of questions that are being asked so bahut achhi baat hai this virtual floor should be open to them because our guests our friends are here who have a lot of questions for you and uh, i would request our friends out there to unmute their mics before they ask the question our very first guest uh, well i already have a question out here which has been presented to me uh, because this guest has not been able to join us chef his question is mr sanjay sen's question is oh mr sanjay sen is online with us great mr sanjay sen please unmute your mic this is your opportunity to ask chef sanjeev kapoor your question all yours now been a pleasure hearing you i'm tempted to say that i've been following you since i was a kid but as you can see <laughs> <laughs> very old uh, may i can you please read out those questions i just i can elaborate on them please so okay uh, i have sent your questions yes i have your questions out here your questions uh, to chef sanjeev kapoor ar is which are your three most favorite dishes that you love to eat and which other chef do you think is doing majorly trend setting cooking recently sure so sanjeev you'd answer so, part uh, of the first one but if you could please i'd be curious to know about the three favorite dishes <laughs> तो अगर थ्री डिशेस फेवरेट डिशेस एक्चुअली मुझे बैन करा है मेरे बच्चों ने कि ये आप ये डायलॉग नहीं बोलोगे बहुत बार आप बोलते हो बट मैं क्या करूँ मैं सच ही बोलता हूँ मैं उसके चुप नहीं रहता मेरे लिए फेवरेट जो है ना बहुत बोरिंग चीज़ होती है फेवरेट का मतलब बार बार वही खाओ बार बार वही खाओ बट स्टिल टू लिस्ट जैसे मैंने पालक खिचड़ी बोली आजकल फेवरेट चल रही है मेरे राइट उसके अलावा गोलगप्पे ऑल टाइम से गोलगप्पे uh, किसी भी नाम से हो गोलगप्पे पानी पूरी बताशा बहुत बहुत गपचुप कई जगह क्या क्या नाम है इसके गोलगप्पे के क्या नाम है एंड uh, उसके साथ में कुछ uh, मीठा पुचका यस पुचका बताशा डिफरेंट नेम्स इट्स देयर एंड आई वुड से उसके साथ में बंगाली मिठाई बंगाली मिठाई uh, जितनी है uh, उसमें खीर कदम आई लव ठीक है मैं बनारस में रहता था वहाँ बहुत बहुत बढ़िया मिलती थी और वहाँ पे बहुत साल पहले माय फर्स्ट जॉब वाज इन वाराणसी एज ए शेफ एंड दैट्स वेयर आई वाज फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस विद खीर कदम और एक गोरी ने मुझे खीर कदम के बारे में बताया था उससे पहले हमने दिल्ली में मिलते ही नहीं थे हमारे को खीर कदम होते ही नहीं थे तो वहाँ पे उसने बोला कि ओ आई वॉज वर्किंग इन होटल एंड शी सेट कुड वी हैव समॉकडम्स फॉर डिनर एंड uh, <laughs> मैं सोच रहा था मैंने पूरी अपनी फ्रेंच कुकिंग से लेके सारी इंडियन सारी मैं सोची ये तो मैंने डिश कभी सुनी नहीं uh, एक होती है फ्रेंच में क्रोकम बुश होता है तो मैंने कहा क्रोकम बुश सुना है बेच क्रोकडम क्या होता है पता चला वो खीर कदम मांग रही थी तो तब से <laughs> खीर कदम उसको भी हमने खिलाया आज तक मैं खाता आ रहा हूँ uh, मेरे मित्र हैं अंजन चैटर्जी वो ढेर सारे मुझे uh, भेजते रहते हैं खीर कदम uh, and i enjoy them so three uh, dishes and a chef who has been do- doing uh, path breaking uh, work uh, i would say um, in world and i, I think uh, uh, chef ko global uh, chef uh, washington dc mein uh, hai jose andres karke chef hai dost hai mera uh, i think uh, usko nobel peace prize milega jaldi mere hisab se agar kisi chef ko milega to he is doing some path breaking work not just as a chef but a lot of humanitarian work uh, he's uh, uh, he's doing uh, uh, not just in pandemic har jagah kahi kuch arth ke ko aa gaya to pahunch jata hai and uh, he's of course a very accomplished uh, chef he has uh, some great uh, restaurants i take a lot of uh, inspiration from him uh, i'm also with him uh, part of an initiative a united nations united nations initiative uh, clean cooking alliance bahut kam logon ko pata hai ki khane ke dhuen se सिगरेट का धुआं तो सब पता है कि इट किल्स पैकेट पर लिखा जाता है लेकिन खाने के धुएं से हर साल करीब 10 लाख औरतों की मौत होती है 
So uh, we, we create awareness about that and how uh, we have to uh, have clean uh, uh, cooking, just uh, smoke name. So that's what we propagate and uh, he is the global ambassador for that uh, uh, with me. Yeah. So, aapke sawalon ka jawab shayad mil gaya hoga Sanjay. Shukriya, shukriya bahut. Do I have the luxury of one more question please? I know there'll be others, but very quick. Mere paas ye luxury nahi hai haan ya kehne ki. Mera bus chale to mein haan hi haan kar do. Mere mujhe koji na flight leni hai, na kuch karna hai. Mein yahaan se ghar mein 10 minute mein pahunch jau ga. So very quick question, back. there'll be others, there'll be others also yeah. after. Uh, yeah. Music, do you find that you, uh, does music help your cooking or and have any effect? Do you like to play music while you're cooking? Oh wow, uh, so uh, I, I wish I could show you this in your face, I So my room, this is my office ka room, hai, mein, uh, back now. We of course have uh, kitchens and we have a uh, studio, uh, but this room is a music room. Uh, here, in front of me, right, there is a full percussion drum kit. In front of me, guitar. In front of me, keyboard. There are speakers. There is a mic. है. It's a full music room. A lot of musicians uh, come in, and maybe uh, my daughter has just uh, got up. Just a one. These are my sticks. I will show you. These are my sticks. And maybe I'll, I'll just make you hear. Jara ek symbol ke upar thoda sa awaz karke sunaye ki music ke saath kitna relation hai. Ha, wo ek crash pe aur ek ride pe. Ha, ye wali crash hai ye ride hai. Ha, zor pe. Aur ek wali. So these are two symbols uh, that that's are there. It's a full uh, drum kit. So music is integral. Uh, I, I think. Uh, uh, shock hai aur, and I've seen uh, lots of uh, musicians, singers, they love good food, they also love uh, cooking. Mere jitne closest dost uh, uh, they are all singers. Jitne, aur, aur sabko khana bhi achha lagta hai, kaiyon ko khana banana bhi achha lagta hai. Jaise Shankar ki main tha, he's a very good friend, he calls me maestro. Kahin kahin se mujhe phone aajega. Achha maestro, tell me ki main ye bread bana raha hoon aur usme main aise ye ho gaya, wo ho gaya. And, uh, so and I learn music from them. Uh, so there's a very close uh, relationship of uh, music and food. Thank you, thank you, Sanjeev. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Sen and uh, Chef. मुझे तो पता नहीं था आपके इस अवतार के बारे में. Pandemic में दो गाने रिकॉर्ड कर लिए. Oh. Yeah. कुछ चीजें ऐसी रखनी चाहिए बहुत ज्यादा नहीं पता होनी चाहिए कुछ पर्दे में रहने दो ना पर्दा ना उठाओ <laughs> ए फिलहाल पर्दा yes. उठाते हैं हमारे अगले जो गेस्ट हैं ही हैज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू मिस्टर प्रदीप यस यू आर ऑनलाइन विद अस नाउ प्लीज अपना सवाल पूछिए शेफ से या गुड इवनिंग संजीव गुड इवनिंग मयंक संजीव जी मेरा आपसे एक सवाल है कि आप जो भी खाना बनाते हैं देखने में बहुत ही लाजवाब होता है और खाने में भी लाजवाब होता है मेरा एक सवाल यह है कि न्यूट्रिशन पे आप कितना इंपॉर्टेंस देते हैं अपनी डिशेस में बिल्कुल so, बहुत अच्छा सवाल है प्रदीप जी आई थिंक अगर हम देखें तो बिना न्यूट्रिशन के कोई भी जो खाना है वो कितना भी स्वादिष्ट हो कितना भी दिखने में अच्छा हो इट हैज नो मीनिंग एट ऑल बट nutrition is uh, is very personal in nature meri uh, do daughters hain ek kuch bhi kha le kyunki athlete hai bahut bhagti hai uske liye wo chips bhi khati hai uske liye usme bhi bahut sara nutrition hai wo gajar ka halwa bhi khati hai usme bhi usko beta protein keratin bhi milta hai sab kuch milta hai right par dusri kehti hai ki nahi meri metabolism is tarah se hai so i would say that uh, nutrition is very personal और जब हम स्पेशली uh, खाना बताते हैं uh, जब हम शेयर करते हैं तो नीड बेस uh, करते हैं uh, तो विजुअल मीडियम पे जब uh, हम करते हैं तो लोग हमें इसलिए देखते हैं कि खाना जो दिखने में अच्छा हो जो वो रेप्लिकेट कर सकें दोस्तों यारों के लिए पर मेरी कई किताबें ऐसी हैं हमारी uh, 
वेबसाइट हैं मैं काफ़ी फार्मा कंपनीज के साथ में काम करता हूँ जहाँ पे हम हेल्थ फूड के ऊपर काम करते हैं जो मैं मसालों के ऊपर काम करता हूँ उसमें सारा हेल्दी तरीके से काम करता हूँ सो आई वुड से दैट इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्सपर्टीज इफ यू आस्क मी माई हायर एक्सपर्टीज इज ऑन हेल्थ एक्चुअली जो लोग मुझे जानते हैं मुझे डॉक्टर कपूर के नाम से ज़्यादा जानते हैं क्योंकि दैट्स माई स्पेशलिटी तो परसों मेरी सिस्टर भी उसका फ़ोन आया एंड शी शी वॉज टॉकिंग कि अच्छा मुझे ऐसे हो रहा है ऐसे हो रहा है कहती है मेरे को तुम्हें डॉक्टर हो एंड विच इज़ ट्रू मैं मतलब इतने दोस्त यार डॉक्टर्स के साथ में एंड दिस बींग माई फील्ड एंड माई स्पेशलाइज इन दिस आई अगर आप मुझसे पूछें तो टॉप डॉक्टर्स न्यूट्रिशन एंड ऑल मैं परसों हमारे कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट के साथ में था आई वेन एवर आई गो देर आई स्पेंड एटलीस्ट वन आवर मैं मुझे बहुत बुरा लगता है कि बहुत सारे पेशेंट बैठे हुए उनके साथ में एंड एंड वी वी डिस्कस सीरियस न्यूट्रिशन सब्जेक्ट राइट सो दैट्स माई एरिया ऑफ स्पेशलाइजेशन बट नेचुरली वॉट वी गिव इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन वॉट इज द नीड तो अगर ये विजनेरियम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी है यू टेल मी कि किस तरह से करना आप मेरे से हेल्थ के बारे में पूछेंगे मैं हेल्थ के बारे में बताऊँगा Uh, लोग जैसा जो मांगेंगे तो uh, जैसे नूडल्स है वो फ्राइड वाले नूडल्स इंडिया में शुरू से बिक रहे हैं अगर जो इंस्टेंट नूडल्स है राइट ऐसा नहीं है कि वो इतनी बड़ी कंपनी है ग्लोबल कंपनी है उनको नहीं पता कि हेल्थी कैसे होता है बहुत अच्छे से पता है लेकिन डिमांड क्या करते हैं लोग राइट वही बात है कि अगर आप समोसा मांगते हैं तो आपको समोसा खिलाया जाएगा सैलड नहीं खिलाया जाएगा थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच मिस्टर प्रदीप जैसा उन्होंने कहा वेरी सेटिस्फाइड विद योर आंसर एंड शेफ मैं तो कहूंगा आई एम एक्चुअली वेरी प्लेजेंटली सरप्राइज बाय दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन टूडे बिकॉज आज मुझे लगता था कि मैं और हम सब के सब आपके बारे में बहुत कुछ जानते हैं बट वी गॉट टू नो सो मच मोर अबाउट यू द मोर द कॉन्वर्सेशन प्रोग्रेस्ड वी गॉट टू नो सो मेनी मोर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच नहीं देखिए इंसान को ऐसा ही होना चाहिए लाइक एन अनियन जैसे जैसे लेयर खुलती जाए वैसे वैसे और पता चलना चाहिए एंड अनियन जैसे जैसे खुलता जाता है वैसे वैसे स्वीट होता जाता है कॉन्वर्सेशन <laughs> thank you man uh, fantastic uh, i i enjoyed uh, the whole experience uh, and uh, it, it was uh, fantastic to have this kind of a uh, chat and uh, you've been very engaging and uh, i must uh, i must admit uh, that uh, you were completely in it and uh, uh, very very uh, impressed i got to know you uh, a lot and uh, people who joined us uh, thank you thank you really uh, very much and uh, stay healthy और घर में खाना बनाएं, और प्यार से खाएं, और खिलाएं, और जिनको खाना नहीं मिल रहा उनके बारे में भी सोचें, उनको भी खिलाएं, प्यार से खिलाएं। क्या बात है थैंक यू सो मच शेफ एंड आई विल डेफिनेटली पास ऑन योर मैसेज टू बमन थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू Well, that was Chef Sanjeev Kapoor. Uh, what a wonderful man! What a fun conversation with him. And uh, as he said, I hope he has inspired you, especially with his ending lines, where he said, "Ki you make food for yourself, lead a healthier lifestyle, but also think about those who do not have food." Now that is such a noble thought. We got to know so much about the food that we eat today, where it comes from, how it travels. Uh, international ingredients our local ingredients our local grains about the journey that all of this takes to come to our plate and more importantly i hope that our conversation today has helped you get a clearer vision of what the future should be like right now we don't know but this is how it could be after today i know that uh, with 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 the pearls of wisdom that chef sanjeev has left us with 
my attitude towards li of life and about food is going to be changing. It will be more mindful. I'll definitely stop and think a moment before food goes into my mouth and into my stomach. Well, on that philosophical note, that is all for today's episode of the Visionarium 2020. I hope that it helped you plan and prepare for the future, a future that's going to be a better one. We would love to have your feedback with what you felt about the session today. You can uh, write to us at info at audiindia.in and uh, tell us everything that you like, you didn't like it, what you learned, what you would like to act upon. We would love to hear from you. And uh, also, I said that at the beginning. So if you have taken all the screenshots, pictures, whatever you liked about the show today, don't forget to post it on your social media. We would love to hear from you. Please tag Audi India and use the hashtag Audi Visionarium. Thank you so much for joining us for this conversation tonight. It's been an eye-opening one for all of us. Thank you for being great guests and friends. I'll see you soon. Take care.